In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, describing somebody's nationality. We've already looked at um, uh, talking about countries, and uh, this time we're going to be looking at nationality adjectives. Um, so what I've done is I've, um, I've broken them down into, divided them into four groups, um, because the, um, the way that you say it uh, for a man, italiano, italiana, okay, so if the adjective, so the masculine is blue, the feminine is red, so if you talk about um, an Italian man, it would be italiano, for an Italian woman, italiana, so when the adjective ends with an O for the masculine, the O just changes to A, okay, so um, exam more examples of that would be um, Polacco, Polish, Polacco, so the female being Polacca, Russo, meaning Russian, Russo, and Russa, and uh, Suizo, meaning Swiss, um, Suiza. Also, you can think of other examples, maybe Argentino, Argentinian. Argentino, Argentina. Okay, so the next group of um, adjectives is ones that in the male they end in a consonant. So you can see an example of that, Espanol, describing a, a male um, Spanish person, Espanol. So here what you do is you just add an A. So it goes from Espanol, three syllables, to Española, four syllables. So other adjectives that um, end with a consonant would be things like uh, Aleman. So Aleman, uh, for a German man, Aleman, and for a female, Alemana. You've also got lots of ones which end S. So an example of that would be Inglés, Inglesa, uh, French, Frances, Francesa, um, Hollandais, Hollandais, Hollandesa. Also you've got things like um, Irish, Irlandais, Irlandesa, Scottish, Escoces, Escocesa, Welsh, Gales, Galesa. But um, also when the ones um, that end Aleman, you can see there's an accent on here, this is helping with pronunciation. So when you um, make it female, by adding an extra syllable, you actually take off, you don't need that anymore. Um, so that's, it's best to kind of look at the um, tutorial on where the stress lies in words. Um, it's not a mistake. You see that, you think, oh, why is there an accent on this A, but not on this one? No, it just doesn't have one. It's the same with all the ones which end A's, like Inglés, Frances, Hollandais, Irlandais. Um, in the female, when you say Inglesa, you remove the accent. Okay, so another group of adjectives to look at is um, ones where the uh, adjective ends in an E. So, um, an example of this is Estado Unidense, which means American, somebody from the United States. So the word for the United States is Los Estados Unidos. Now you can say Americano, Americana, but it's a bit vague. So it doesn't really mean somebody, it just means somebody that's any from anywhere in the Americas. So somebody from uh, Canada or Mexico, Colombia, they could also be described as American. So it's, it's more accurate to um, describe somebody as Estadounidense, even though it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, but um, the female, so that's the male, the female doesn't change. So um, adjectives which end in an E, in the masculine, the feminine, will be the same. Another example of an adjective of nationality which ends with an E is Canadiense. Canadiense, uh, meaning Canadian. So the, to talk about a Canadian man, Canadien, es Canadiense, and a woman, ella es Canadiense. Okay. There aren't that many um, adjectives of nationality which end in an E. Um, majority end either a or, or, or uh, end in a consonant in the masculine and just add an A in the feminine. And then the final group is um, ones where the, uh, the masculine adjective ends in an A. 
and it's similar to ones that end in an E. Uh, there's no change in the female. So to talk about um, a Belgian man, you'd say L S Belga. So you might say Hercule Poirot is Belgian. You might say Kevin De Bruyne, the Manchester City midfielder, Kevin S Belga. Um, and if you're talking about a Belgian woman, um, Aya S Belga. Okay, so um, doesn't change. Now, the best thing to do is just practice the pronunciation. So I'm going to just um, read through these, and um, as I say them, just um, just uh, repeat. So, Italiano, Italiana, Polacco, Polacca, Nruso, Nrusa, Suizo, Suiza, Argentino, Argentina. Okay, now the ones that end in a consonant in the masculine, so, and remember to add an extra syllable, so Espanol becomes in the feminine, Espanola. So, Espanol, Espanola. Aleman, Alemana. Inglés, Inglesa. Frances, Francesa. Hollandaise, Hollandaise. Okay, and then the easy ones with the um, ones that end in an E, where there's only one form. So for the male and female, it's just Estadounidense, Estadounidense, and Canadiense, Canadiense. And then the final one, just Belga. Okay, so. What we do now is just think of um, some, perhaps some famous people and uh, tell me their nationalities. So, um, what about um, Gerard Depardieu? We could say um, Gerard Depardieu is French, so it would be uh, Gerard S. Francais. Okay, uh, Bridget Bardot is French, so we just put uh, BD, Bridget Bardot, S, Francesa. Okay, maybe, um, how would you say Jurgen Klopp? Oh, no, maybe Boris Becker is German. Okay, so that will be Boris, S, Alemann. Man. And um, Angela Merkel is German. Angela S. Alemana. What about um, Julio Iglesias is um, Spanish. So um, Julio S. Español. And uh, Penelope Cruz is um, Spanish. So. Penelope S. Española. What about um, Brad Pitt is uh, America, so he's from the United States. So Brad S. Estado Unidense. Brad S. Estado Unidense. Um, Madonna is American. So again, Madonna, S, and then the same word, Estadounidense. It doesn't change. It doesn't become, um, you might think, oh, should it be for a woman, Estadounidense? Should, it, should you change the E to an A, but you don't. It's just um, Estadounidense. And um, maybe, um, Let's think of uh, maybe David Beckham is English. Um, David as English. Uh, oh, of course, we could say Judy Dench is English. Um, Judy as English. Okay, so you've got um, a bit of a variety of different nationalities. So, um, I mean, you can, when you um, Describe where somebody's from. You can say something like, uh, for example, here, David. I could say uh, for myself, soy 
Inglés. So I'm English. I could also say I'm from England, so I could use the country. Soy de Inglaterra. It doesn't matter which one you say, um, whichever you feel more comfortable with, and perhaps you can vary it just to, uh, you know, just to keep things, uh, keep things interesting. Okay, so um, now you can describe where people are from, from according to their nationality. Okay, so hasta la próxima.